I really was gonna be very sad if I had to go through everything again. Uh, well, I gotta get my list of names. We out. just went on a whole <laughs> roller coaster from there. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was a journey. Okay. Um. It's okay. Everything's fine. Let's play Chase the Agate. Yeah, let's play Chase the Agate. <laughs> I have to get a pen to write down new names. Okay, I got a pen. <laughs> I don't remember what uh, I'm supposed to be doing right now. Um, you are investigating, uh, they, yeah, yes. this. I'm, that's right, I'm following Z. Oh god, how does your voice go again? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, I found it. Isn't that the way to the lighthouse? Hmm. Let's go check it out. Yeah, what? I think that was her voice. Whoops. Yeah, pretty much. <sighs> also, yeah, hi, it Xander. Was. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Xander's in here just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just as I thought. The Marine Lighthouse. It belongs to the city of Ruan. If I remember right, there's a man who lives here all alone. I can't see the thing yet. Sorry, I'm resizing my screen. Oh. <laughs> see that's any better? Yeah, it's better. And this appears to be the place. Was that, is it not showing up right, or are you just... No, it was just me. Oh, That's okay. Enough. I just wanted to make sure I was like, am I not showing it right? I'm almost positive that the ones who attacked Matron Teresa and the children are here in this building. Which means that there's a high chance the perpetrators have taken over the lighthouse. And from the looks of it, that seems to be the only entrance. I guess that all there is left to do is check it out ourselves. Yes. Now hold on there a minute, girl. Don't call me girl. I want to see the truth with my own eyes. What the hell are you talking about? I want to know why someone would do such a horrible thing like that. So please, take me with you. I can see where you're coming from, but... now the only reason we knew about this place to begin with was because of chloe and i can guarantee you she can handle herself so at least you don't have to worry about her getting in the way estelle joshua fine have your way but i hope you remember what these guys that these guys are the one who put karn out of commission Make sure you don't let down your guard. I'll keep that in mind. Well, I guess it's decided then. All right, let's hurry and check the place out. Okay, here we go. ones from before? I swear, if I wasn't looking at them with my own eyes right now, I'd never believe it. Hey, what the hell are you all doing here? Raven gang members' eyes are blank and emotionless. <laughs> hey! Agate, look out. Where are they getting this strength from? Dean, you son of a... This is just perfect. Now I don't know what kind of drugs you're smoking. But if I have to beat some sense back into you, I will. I 
believe it. These guys are a hundred times stronger than when we dealt with them at the warehouse, even though we beat them in the same exact amount of time. <laughs> no, one of them took an extra hit. Sure. Yeah, it be acting rather strange. I wonder what's going on. Hmm. Looks like they're being controlled by someone. Controlled? Yeah, I agree. I'd say it's some sort of special hypnotic induction using a combination of drugs and suggestion. This allows a person controlling them to draw out their maximum physical potential. Can someone really do that? Of course, but they need to be pretty skilled to even attempt such a thing. And I can only think of one group that could pull off something like this. You have an idea who might be responsible? Yeah, possibly. But there's no time to talk about it now. Let's head upstairs. The real perpetrator should be up there. All right, let's go. I put off my input sensitivity like automatically thing, so we'll see if it's any like better for just general voicing. Fair enough. Let's see, Chloe. You put all of your best stuff on. Get her a cute little bird. Look at that. Adorable. It's almost like you were made to play this person. Honestly, it's like <laughs> Morales 2.0. <laughs> All right. Here they come again! Yeah, it looks like we don't have any choice but to put them down the hard way. Okay, now they shouldn't take more than a single hit each. Except for maybe from Joshua, because Joshua's not all that physically straight. <laughs> Joshua's all about evasion and arts. He's not really a physically strong character. I've looped. Oh yeah, that's me. Don't worry about it. Just yeah. Okay. I'm nope, really I... sorry about this. I really don't want to fight with anyone being controlled, but this isn't the time to be holding back. We don't need to kill them. Just knock them out. I mean, isn't that what we've been trying to do? Question mark. Ooh. Things were all oh. lethal until just oh. now, and they were like, "Hmm, oh well, yeah, not lethal." Hits. Tough. Oh. Wait, you oh. dodged? What? Wow. Impressive. They actually might be getting to a point where they're going to start getting closer to my actual level. Ooh. I mean, they're still a ways away from it, but... Hey, you hear that? <laughs> a job well... Oh, <clears throat> what was your voice? Hold on. I got to figure out his voice. God. Wasn't he the, uh... Yeah, Kinda I just gotta uppity, figure it out. Yeah, I just gotta figure it out a sec. Hold on. <laughs> A job well done. Now we'll be able to blame this mess on those punks and everything will work out perfectly. So I take it you're satisfied with our work? Yes, you've handled things nicely. But just to make sure you haven't left any incriminating evidence, right? <laughs> you've got nothing to worry about there. 
And even when those fools regain their senses, they won't remember a thing. The lighthouse keeper shouldn't wake up until morning either. I'm relieved to hear that. If this is the matron of that orphanage, should give up on her dreams of rebuilding it. And that series of incidents, along with this arson, will look nothing like the work of those lowlifes. We can get two birds with one stone. It's perfect. We are glad to see that our clients are happy with our work. However, if you don't mind me asking, what's the benefit in destroying that orphanage? That's the only thing I've been having a hard time understanding. But please, if you really want to know so bad, I'll let you in on a little secret. The mayor intends to transform the entire area into a series of very, very upscale vacation homes. Interesting. A scenic seaside area not far from New York. What more favorable geographic conditions could there be than that for a vacation home? We'll build lavish estates there and then sell them off to the highest bidder. That's been the mayor's plan all along. Now that's a ritzy plan if I've ever heard one. But I still don't get why it was necessary to burn the orphanage to the ground. Haha, <laughs> think about it. Imagine trying to sell a luxury estate to someone with a ramshackle place like that marring the view. Not to mention all the little brats running around close by and making a ruckus. I see. Something like that would definitely cut their value in half. But instead of going to an extreme like that, why not just buy up the place? Ha! You... You didn't really think that stubborn woman would sell off the land left to her by her late husband, did you? What if we were to haul away the burned out remains while they were away and build something in this place? There's not much they could do, could they? <laughs> and since they have no money to really develop the place, they'll have no choice but to accept their fate. That was your reasoning? How long have you been standing there? A while. Was something like that? You hurt Matron Teresa and the children and burned the memories to ashes. You deprived those children of their smiles for that? How did you know we were here? But before that, what are those low lives doing downstairs? Too bad for you, they're taking a long nap. <laughs> and to think the mayor was behind it all. Plus, some faces we've seen before seem to be involved, too. So, you know who we are, do you? You've been briefly acquainted with a red-headed bracer before. Xander. Ah! So running off like dogs with your tail between your legs and sicking some monsters on me means we're acquainted, huh? But now I've finally got you where I want you. K kill them! Kill them all! Now that they've seen my face, I can't let them walk out here alive! It's unfortunate that you've fallen this far, Gilbert. Well, since it's a request from our client, I guess we'll just have to comply. Let's see what you've got, Bracers. That's exactly what I was thinking! Just because you're hired help, don't think that you're any less responsible. I think it's time to make you taste the power of the Heavy Blade! Quack. Stab. Nice. Alright, we're good to go. This can't be! Gilbert, steward of the mayor, and you boys in black. In accordance with the laws of the Bracer Guild, you are hereby placed under arrest. <laughs> give it up and surrender. Uh, you're pretty tough, I'll give you that. Going toe to toe with you hasn't disappointed me at all. Uh, the lieutenant's going to be mad. He warned us about this. We shouldn't have been as careless as we were. The lieutenant? You mean that guy wearing the red mask who was negotiating with the Sky Bandits? I'm surprised you know about that. Looks like you dogs from the guild are better at sniffing things out than we thought. You're 
insults are pretty funny considering we just gave you a serious beatdown. Now hurry up and throw down your weapons and surrender. Sorry, but we can't do that. What? Huh? Well, what do you think you're doing? Don't move. Come any closer and this guy's brains are going to be splattered all over this place. But what is the meaning of this? What do you intend to do by threatening your employer? You're wrong about that. You are not our employer. The mayor is. But whether it was you or the mayor here, the outcome would have been the same. We only cooperated with you because we shared a mutual interest. And we couldn't care less whether you live or die. Please, don't shoot. Don't shoot me. Cut the, cut the tears in the crap. Don't think you can get away by trying to fool us with a show like that. Ah! My leg! Ah! My leg! You're hurt. Looks like they were serious about what they said. If this isn't enough of a show for you, then how about we blow the brains out of the lighthouse keeper? He, he has nothing to do with this! If his life means anything to you, then I suggest you back up. Let's see, like over by the stairs. Seems we don't have much of a choice. <laughs> That's right, do what you're told, like the dogs you are. And it looks like this is where we bid you farewell. I don't think you're getting away this time. That wasn't there before. A rope? These guys were seriously prepared for anything. I'm leaving you to take care of that idiot steward and the rest. What? I'm going after these guys. The rest of you report to Gene and ask him for further instructions. Ah. What do we do? Uh. Oh. Uh... D, what do we do? I don't. Is this in reference to the rope? Like, what is this asking about? Yeah, like. This is whatever what this is what Estelle's gut instinct is to do in this moment. He said that he's going after them and to go back to the guild way for instruction. <laughs> um So it's whatever Estelle would what do. What would Estelle do? <laughs> um why are you don't throw this on me? <laughs> Man, I came from Harry Potter I came from Hogwarts I'm and mostly Dablin. General question not necessarily you specifically just a general overall question of... i usually answer these and this time i am letting someone else answer <laughs> all right mine is the did you just see that option that's my opinion what do you think xander uh probably to see it just see that yeah D did you just see that Shouldn't we go after those guys, too? No. Didn't you hear what Agus said? We can't just forget about Gilbert and those guys from the Raven Gang. That's right. And though I think Gilbert got what was coming to him, he is still hurt. Oh, alright. I hate to say this, but I guess we'll have to leave the rest up to I get the up to Agate. There we Agate. go. I almost said a gate, and I know then you I did. stopped myself. <laughs> <laughs> Thus, in the end, the Stell and the others were able to take back the stolen money without incident. By the time the mayor steward and the group of delinquents were safely locked up in the Minoria windmill shed, morning had already broken. Yes, they locked them in a shed.
What's that me too? Yeah, enough? this is she's just the average average girl. Oh yeah. Yes, it's me as myself, yes. Now then, I'll keep an eye on things here. Could you return to Ruan and report back to Jean? I took a drink of water at the wrong point. Hold <laughs> That's fine with me, but are you sure you'll be okay? Come on, I just got a whiff of sleeping powder is all. It all happened a little too fast for me to remember who attacked me though. Pretty shameful, I know. Don't beat yourself up over it. You still managed to fend off four attackers. The children are safe thanks to you. I can't thank you enough. <laughs> well, I guess there's that at least. Still, will Agate be okay facing them on his own? I know he's tough and all, but it still worries me. E yeah. If they somehow manage to get the drop on him... For now, we'll just have to trust that he knows what he's doing. He's been after those guys for a while now. He knows how they work, so I think they'll have a tough time taking him on. Yeah, I guess you're right. We'll just have to focus on what we can do. You're right. You're exactly right. I'll hang on to the donated money until the matron wakes up. If those guys want it, they'll have to pry it from my cold, dead fingers. You can count on me. I'll be fine, so you go on ahead. Alright, be careful. Let's go, guys! Let's-a go. Let's-a go! Mario! I rotate my wow. brain. I have to rotate the world to face the direction the map <laughs> is in, because if I use the map to navigate, and it's not situated right my brain goes what <laughs> dalmor was behind everything he was just pretending to be all kind and everything from the start um i've been kind of wondering about this but will we be able to catch the mayor this time huh She raises a good question. This may be difficult. One sec. Okay, sorry about that. My mom came in to ask me questions. No problem. So that's why I clicked. I was clicked off. Okay. Oh sh. <laughs> oh, I was hoping I could catch my vod to see what the lures were. <laughs> it didn't work. Dang it. There's something about she raises a good question. Uh, hold oh, on. Yeah. I'm gonna. Non-interference policy with what it said. The Bracer Guild has a strict non-interference policy with government affairs. Okay. I'm not going to click into the game yet until I say the lines. Okay, <laughs> what was it again? My brain just spazzed. The Bracer Guild has a non-interference policy when it comes to government affairs. Okay, the Bracer Guild has a non-interference policy when it comes to government affairs. And considering he has control over the whole Ruan region... Arresting the mayor isn't going to be easy. Oh, now I click in and it doesn't skip. Thanks, game. <laughs> Hold on just a second. Doesn't anyone else find that strange? It is funny, but the law is the law. That's why the guild can have branches anywhere, even in the Erebonian Empire. Yeah, but still. Anyway, let's just get to the guild and talk to Jean. I think he'll have some useful advice for us. 
Okay. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. We just need to make that man in charge pay his tab. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Orient the map. Wait, is there a thingy over here? <gasps> There's just I I feel so empty inside. Hmm existential chest is suspicious. <laughs> um What is it, Chloe? Well, are you two going to the guild? I just remember something that I need to do, so can you go on ahead without me? I'll catch up to you shortly. That's fine. Are you going to head back to campus then? Yes. I think I should report into the headmaster and let him know what's happening. Hmm. Okay, I got it. We'll be waiting for you at the guild. I'm sorry, Estelle. You too, Joshua. Player produced a notepad and pen and began scribbling furiously. This ought to do it. <laughs> Sig. I understand. It's just hard to believe that Mayor Dalmore is behind these recent events. Hmm, this is certainly a major incident. So, Jean, do you think the mayor can be caught? Well, I'm afraid it's going to be rather difficult. The only way it'll really happen is if he can get caught in the act. I figured as much. You can't be serious! So we just have to allow a corrupt mayor to stay in power? Welcome, Welcome to, to politics, politics though. Uh, <laughs> though. Mm, jinx. Mm. I was like, yep, welcome to politics. <laughs> now, now, there's no need to panic. The Bracers Guild hands may be tied, but the Royal Army can get him. Oh! Estelle, Joshua, I'd like for you to go to the mayor's estate and question him. It doesn't matter if he gets angry. I just want you to buy us some time. And you'll contact the Royal Army in the meantime? <laughs> Precisely. I'll contact Least and Fortress HQ with the or Orville Communication System to request assistance. I don't like having to rely on the army, but I don't see any other option. Okay, once Chloe catches up to us, we'll go see the mayor at once. I made it. Sorry for the delay. Not at all. Perfect timing, in fact. It was pretty quick for a run to the campus. Um, well, I'm pretty fast on my feet. So what's the plan? We were just talking about going to the mayor's estate. We have to stall him with an interview while the royal army is contacted. Ah, I see. Maybe that wasn't so necessary after. Huh? Um, so will you be coming with us? Oh, 
yes. Please allow me to accompany you. We'll be counting on you to contact the army, Jean. Just leave it to me. No one question. She's fine. Yep. She has ties with the army and tried to contact them. <laughs> <laughs> that's my call. <laughs> nope, that's the landing port. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I got stuck on the fence. It happens. like this shut shut up I, I know that's not the line I'm going with it it's a... <laughs> I don't think that really matters mayor Dalmore is originally from a large family of nobles I think this estate has been passed down for generations Well, you don't know that. Yeah, that's so. <laughs> Maybe. Look, she is being optimistic, okay? <laughs> anyway, we need to find him and question him. Yeah. Ghost, it was the face. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Do we have a voice I yet? think we did. I just don't remember what it, it is. It was it was, it was Gabe. I thought it was Dave. I'll do it. I'll do it. No, nope, I have I mean, Laura as Mira, so yeah. I will. It's my excuse to practice my British. Sure. <laughs> Your British. <laughs> my British. Welcome to the Ruan Mayoral. Mayor mm. Mayoral. <laughs> Mayoral, but saying it with a British. It is very strange to say. <laughs> <laughs> Mayoral. Yep. There you go. Uh, hold on. Yeah. Welcome to the Ruan Mayoral Estate. That is a hard set. That is a hard word to say with that accent. Do they have I, mayors in England? I don't think so. I don't actually know. <laughs> All right. That's probably why they don't have mayors. <laughs> no, English language where it's American. I need, I need to get, I need to find someone who's British and oh. have them say that sentence. <laughs> I'll, I'll ask my boss. <laughs> Perhaps you could come back another time. What? Now hold on just one second. I'm pretty sure we know who that guest is. It's Duke Dunan, isn't it? Why, that's exactly it. Have you received an invitation as well? Yes, it came directly from the mayor himself. I apologize for the inconvenience, but would you mind? Now that I take a closer look, you appear to be braces. If circumstances demand it, then please go on up. The mayor and the duke are in the banquet hall on the second floor. Excellent. Thank you for your help. Hmm. Oh, right. Uh, with so many guests arriving, I must really prepare some tea. Please pardon me. <laughs> She's like fretting about tea. Uh, no, that was an excuse to get away because Joshua made her blush. Because Joshua is a cutie. <laughs> oh, cutie. <laughs> What? Oh, nothing. Um, I was just thinking how impressive it was that you knew the Duke was here. No, it's just a matter of asking the right questions. He's planning to sell vacation homes to the rich, right? Duke Dunan might as well have a bullseye paint target painted on his misshapen head. Wow. That 
smart thinking. Where'd you come up with that line about the mayor inviting us? It wasn't a line. He did invite us over the first time we met him. If those ravens start making trouble again, feel free to drop by and let me know. Or something like that. Oh, that's right! <laughs> so he did invite us. Exactly. Well, why don't we head up to the banquet hall? I don't know where that is. These well, are people's they rooms. Up. Well, I understand. Do you see a, stairs? This is a giant table. Yes. There we go. Well, I... <laughs> mm. Timing of the question was impeccable. <laughs> <sighs> I like the sound of that. Ron would be the perfect place for a vacation home. Well, I think I might stay a while. Aha, uh -huh, I had a feeling you would think so. I'll see to it that you get the finest place available, my lord. I believe you'll be quite satisfied. <laughs> You're quite the smooth talker. It's good. Money is no object. Prepare me an estate that is worthy of your future king. Make it as splendid as your holdings here. Pardon me, my lord, but wait a moment. The queen asked you to consult with her before spending it such an amount of... Silence, Philip. I am to be your next king. Such purchases are every day for a man of my standing. Yes, of course. Well said, your grace. We can get a written contract together shortly. First, one more drink. Oh. Hi there! Greetings from the Razor Guild! You. What do you people want? You look kind of familiar. Oh, it's you! Hi, Mr. Butler! We just dropped by to talk to the mayor. No biggie. This won't do. If you're here on guild business, you should speak with some semblance of manners. I'm in the middle of an important discussion, so why don't you come back later? I apologize for our rudeness, Mayor. We intend no disrespect. I simply came to report to you that you have... We have identified the arsonist. Oh, that... Well, then I suppose... My lord, would you excuse us for a moment? No. Say what you're going to say here. Sounds interesting. But... It's okay! Maybe the Duke will have something to add. It won't do any harm for him to hear this, will it? Well, if you must. Or on the subject, it seems that Major Teresa was attacked again last night. Would the arsonist be linked to that? It seems very likely. Unfortunately, the attackers are still at large. I see. Still, at least you say you know who they are now. So, who did it? Who indeed? It's exactly who you think it is, Mayor Dalmore. Ah, uh, I see. It's quite a shame. I was hoping I could make them see the error of their ways before it was too late. I suppose it was a vain hope on my part. What are you talking about, Mr. Mayor? What do you mean, who? Why, the ravens, of course. They've been in hiding ever since last night. I'm sorry, sir, but they aren't the one responsible. This time, they claim to be the victims themselves. What? So, without further ado, the culprit is... <laughs> Definitely the Duke. <laughs> Absolutely the deal. Absolutely, 100%. You know, like, it's totally not the mayor. Not at all. Not at all. He's definitely the steward. It was the no. steward oh, all the time. Yeah, he acted yeah, entirely yeah, yeah. on his own. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that escape attempt, he absolutely did pay them to pay it, like, Oh yeah, he, yeah. he definitely he didn't want to be an adventurer he actually, anymore. He's actually oh, a no. masochist and he enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, he was having a good time. 
<laughs> you, Mayor Dalmore! We already have Gilbert in custody, and we know everything. We also have proof that you stole the money donated to restore the orphanage your lackey set on fire. Can you deny that charge? Nonsense. Do you think I know those people in the black clothes? Oh now, that's a little strange. We didn't say anything about black clothes. This is absolutely ridiculous. Hubert was acting alone. You don't know when to give up, do you, old man? We know that you were plotting to build vacation homes on the land the orphanage occupied. You still deny the charges laid against you. Persistent little brats. But I've had these development plans in place for ages. They're just part of Ruan's city planning. What reason would I have to be so impatient that I resort to criminal acts? Uh, well... Mm. I'm guessing that's the agate. No, I don't think it is. Him? Is it a military? One of the guys from the Royal Army, probably? Uh, I don't know. Off the top, I can't remember off the top of my head. Xander, go! Goes in. How about a mountain of debts to pay off? Oh no, it's Nigel! Oh shit. Or yeah. Niall. Nigel. Nigel. Frick. <laughs> At least you're not saying me all. Right. <laughs> what are you doing here? No, it's always Niall. <laughs> I figured I'd come to the mayor's place to do some investigating. When I see you two going in, the whole thing smelled fishy, so I decided to sneak in. That's it in a nutshell. Just, who the hell are you? Oh, I'm a reporter with the liberal news. The name's Niall Burns. Actually, I've been checking into the city's financial affairs recently. And what do I see? But that Mayor Dalmore has been diverting funds from the city budget lately. That's their funds for the expansion project. I'm not buying it. You haven't even started construction. I thought it was some kind of. It was some kind of. Want to try that again? Yeah, sort of. Pick up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> I thought it was kind of strange, so I dug deeper and found links to the airship company's services. Now that was quite the little surprise. One year ago, you took more than a few trips to the Calvard Republic. I, I was just sightseeing. A reasonable claim. But the truth is that you've amassed a nice big debt over there, am I right? Um, you're losing me. How? By using town funds to speculate in risky commodities in the hopes of cashing in. Buying goods when they're cheap, selling them when they're high, that kind of thing. Oh, I get it. So how much did he lose? From what my fellow reporters over there told me, something to the tune of a hundred million Mira. That's a hundred times the amount donated to the orphanage's rebuilding. I can certainly see why one might turn to crime over an amount that high. No. A hundred million? I'm pretty free with my spending, but I've got nothing on you. Mm. This isn't a competition, you know. Now that you mention it... He took funds from the city budget to pay off his debts and stave off any questions. But I can't understand why he would turn to arson and theft to build his vacation homes. It just all seems so... random. <laughs> Where is your proof? Go ahead and run your story with all this wild speculations. I'll sue you in the newspaper for libel. Suddenly confident, are we? And you all. Bracer Guild does not have the authority to arrest me. I'm the mayor. I want you out of here. Now. I guess he's right. He knows his rights. 
Mayor, may I ask you one question? What now? What is a student of the Royal Academy doing associating with such people? Disgraceful. Return to the campus at once. Chloe looked Mayor Downmore directly in the eyes, her expression cold and stern. Why did you not use your own assets to pay off your debt? One hundred million Mira is certainly a lot of money. But I think that House Delmore surely has enough assets to settle the matter. This estate, for instance, it would easily sell for at least a hundred billion Mira. Don't be ridiculous. This estate has been handed down in the Downmore family for generations. How could I ever simply let it go? The orphanage was no different. For many, it was a place fondly remembered. No one has the right to destroy something like that. How could you do such a thing? How, how dare you liken this estate to that dilapidated old hovel? You care for no one but yourself. More than being the mayor, or being head of the Dal House Dalmore? You pitiful man. <laughs> you have quite a way with words, young lady. But let's see if you'll change your tune in a few minutes. I was like, what's he gonna battle us? Bango, Bronco, come, it's dinner time. Wolves? What the? That smell. Puppos. Puppos! Those aren't puppos. <laughs> Puppy! <They're> adorable. <laughs> What the hell are those things? Puppies. Monsters. <laughs> my, my lord. <laughs> Unbelievable. You actually keep monsters as pets? <laughs> Everything you think you know will die with you here. Don't worry. If there's anything left of you, I'll dump it in the river. <laughs> He's crazy. Puppies. <laughs> so, is fighting freaky puppies part of the stalling plan now? Well, at least now we can arrest him for trying to kill us. I'm sure the other stuff will stick too after this. I bear you both no ill will, but I will not allow you to harm anyone. They just need a good squirt behind the ear. There's some belly rubs. It's a belly rubs. <laughs> wow, you critted for nothing. I In my heart of hearts, our weapons just give, gave them really good scratches, it and then be. they the best, went away. The best belly rubs. Babies. <laughs> How could you do this? <laughs> You're one to talk. In accordance with Bracer Guild protocol, and this time with authority, we're placing you under arrest. Surrender and you will not be harmed. <laughs> you leave me no choice but to use my trump card. Huh? A wand? Time, stop. <laughs> Use an orbital art? No. This has to be an artifact. So what the hell is that? Oh well, your knowledge is impressive, Miss Riddens. This is the Kronos Rod, an artifact which happens to be a family heirloom. It can completely paralyze anyone within range in the blink of an eye. That's crazy! How does the church not know about such a powerful artifact? <laughs> With a tool crafted by the wise ancients themselves, what else would one expect? Tactical ordmans can't even begin to compare to this. Sadly, it only has that one function. Which means I'll have to sully my hands and dispose of you myself. <laughs> you should consider this an honor. Let's see. I think I'll start with the smart mouth little brat first. Smart mouth. 
perhaps I'll save the intelligent girl for less. <laughs> now, what was that you were saying about authority? You could plead for your lives. It might help, but I doubt it. To you? Yeah, right? Keep your filthy hands off. What's that? Keep your filthy hands off Estelle. Don't chew from a single hair on her head. I'll use every technique I know to cut your miserable carcass to pieces. <laughs> what? He only cares about Estelle, apparently. Mm, not Chloe. Joshua! Joshua! You certainly talk big for someone who can't even wiggle his fingers. Fine, I'll start with you. Hurting him! Joshua! Die. No! <laughs> what? That light! Dang it. I could just reach my camera. Oh, it's a reporter. What? What's going on? I, I can move again. Estelle, what was that black light? Don't know, but I think it came from that ornament Dad sent us. Impossible! My family heirloom, my artifact, it's broken! It hardly matters since you've played your last hand. It's time to face reality. Y yeah! I can't believe you'd really stoop this low! It's disgusting. Uh. It will not be taken in. Ah! After him. Okay. I really like Joshua, by the way. Oh my gosh. Hey, I love Joshua. I can't let a story like this get away. <laughs> Is he going away? Oh my god. Ghost, my theory with him and the other thing is so fucking accurate. <laughs> oh my. Who, I believe oh, I've wait, lost wait, okay, a few which... years off of what little remains to me. Okay, which which series about what? About the comparisons? Ah, yes, 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 yes. Now oh I know what you're referring god. to. <laughs> oh my god. My lord. Are you alright, my lord? <laughs> Monsters. Monsters. Firemen slide down the pole. <laughs> I don't have time for runs. He just <laughs> miles behind. <laughs> he just seated himself down the ladder. He has a getaway boat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, what's that? It's Mayor Dalmore's yacht. Oh, that's what? you. My that bad. A, that's okay, though. Wow. I, oh, my goodness. <laughs> I saw... I just looked up briefly from trying to find something that I knocked over and just... Yep. Go ahead. They have very similar hair colors. It's Mayor Dalmore's yacht. Especially when you're colorblind. Oh, yeah. Hey, wait! We can go after him in this boat. Come on, you two. Get on board. Okay. Hey, that was like in sync. Look at us go. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Nile. <laughs> it's as uh, if we've been hey, friends for years. Hey, you <laughs> It's as if we've been friends since middle school. <laughs> yeah. Just a few years. Just a few. It's like that time where was it Marisha and Liam? Or was it Marisha and Talizin that were just like perfectly in sync with the uh huh, uh huh? <laughs> oh, that was, that was Liam, or that's uh, Talizin and Marisha. That, yeah, that was right. great. <laughs> All right, we're clo closing in. This craft is small and lightweight, so we have the edge, it seems. Stubborn little. Take this. Don't 
Mayor Delamore. Sorry, got a phone call. Okay, we're good. Oh. Oh, it was just a random... At 10.45 p.m.? Oh, well, it was from my mom in the other room. Oh, she just didn't okay. want to get over here. She just didn't want to walk over here. just like, who called you at 10.45? My mom just doesn't want to walk across the hallway to my room or my office. I see. Uh... What? Ha! I'll teach you not to underestimate a bracer. Joshua, flank him on the right. Roger that. Huh? Whoa! How do you get so fast? The wind is blowing toward open water. It's catching his sails, giving him a boost. Not good. At this rate, the has a clear advantage. We won't be able to catch up. <laughs> Looks like Adios smiles on me today. I bid you farewell, brats. You've gotta be kidding! We were so close! It's going to get away. There must be something we can do. What the? They're here. Alright, getting away is all well and good, but what now? I guess I'll have no choice but to head for the Empire. Or, if I lay low for a while, maybe he... What? Ship. Is it the Royal Army? No, the coat of arms is wrong. This is Julia. Uh, one second. If I remember that, if that, if that is her name, if I remember uh, correctly. Okay, that would be me. Okay. Uh, well, no, hold on. Let me double check that that's who this is. Uh, okay. Trails in the sky. No bad. Uh, okay, voice act. Okay, boom. I believe that is the name of this. Yes, Julia Swars. Yep, this is Julia. Okay. It's the Royal Guard ship, a high speed cruiser. So that is pronounced Arsail. Arsail, okay. Ooh. Her name is the Arsail. Well, well. Looks like we got here just in time. That blue and white uniform. Are you Her Majesty's Royal Guard? Precisely. I am the company commander, Julia Suarez. The... Can I do that? Okay. Julia Schwarz. Schwarz? Yeah. Okay. I like Suarez. I like Suarez better, to be honest. <laughs> but anyway. If her name didn't get pronounced later in the series, I'd be fine with it. But it's okay. pronounced later in the His series. His first name is Morris? Weird. Okay. Mayor Morris Delmore of Ruan. I'm placing you under arrest for arson, robbery, and embezzlement, among other charges. This is a dream. It has to be. No. No, no. Oh, oh, uh, what's going on? Jean called the Royal Army for reinforcements. But how'd they get her so fast? <laughs> oh there, Bracers. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. Please, let us handle this matter. A 
I pressed Mayor Dalmore for information once he regained consciousness, but... He apparently can't remember anything regarding the past few hours very well, if he remembers them at all. He's also drawing a complete blank about the arson and robbery. Really? Kind of like the leader of the Sky Bandits. Maybe it's related to those men in black from before. Well, even if he can't remember, the crimes are pretty clear-cut. It should go without saying that we'll be checking out his steward, too. If we uncover anything, we'll be sure to let the Bracer Guild know. We appreciate it. By the way, Lieutenant, I have a favor to ask. What might that be? Would it be at all possible for me to get on board that ship as well? It's supposed to be the most advanced airship ever to come out of Zeiss. Makes for a great story, and I really need one. I'm afraid not. The Arsail was only just completed, and is still undergoing flight testing. I must ask that you not comment on her at all until she's officially unveiled. What? Oh, come on. You've got to at least give me something about the mayor and his steward being arrested. Don't worry. The facts of the story will be given over to the Royal News Agency. Until then, please refrain from reporting any of this. Uh, what choice do I have? All right, I can do this. I can write a story with even the bare scrap of info. Better hurry back to the agency and put these events to paper. If you'll pardon me, everyone. Okay, here. Uh, well, he's in his usual high spirits. <laughs> Would you expect any less? I'm told that the liberal news circulation has increased dramatically of late. A pearl. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I give up, okay? <laughs> I hope he's not planning to write a big propaganda piece. Oh, I couldn't resist. What do you mean? Never mind. That was quite impressive, First Lieutenant Schwarz. Colonel! Whoa! Colonel Richard? Oh, I remember you. I presume that you are the new bracers the guild spoke of. So you were the one Jean got in touch with, Colonel Richard? Yes, I received word at Lyson Fortress, where the Royal Forces are stationed. I got here as quickly as I could, only to find out that the crisis had passed. Excellent work, Lieutenant. Uh, that's very kind of you, sir. Now, oh, who had her? Canone Amalthea. Canone, Canone. Canone, well, I think you as well. I think that's me again. So. All right. <laughs> Still, I wonder. What would bring the guards from the royal city here? And so quickly. Perhaps you know of a route so secret that even our intelligence division is unaware of it? Surely you jest. <laughs> Come now, Captain. This is hardly a time to pick a fight. I was simply admiring the proactive stance of Royal Guardsmen. It's good to have you on our side. If it pleases you, Lieutenant, we'll take over the investigation from here and move matters to Lyston Fortress. I believe the mayor will be attended to there. Yes, sir. I understand. Now, if you'll excuse us. Ladies and gentlemen of the Racer Guild and Royal Guard. And the young lady in the uniform. Quite willing, I think we shall meet each other again. And with that, I bid you farewell. <laughs> Safe travels, everyone. They're both sus. All that. Maybe I'm just imagining things? But did the colonel look like he was eyeballing Chloe to anyone else? Oh, was he? I'm sure it's just because he doesn't see students very often in his line of work. 
I wouldn't make too much of it. Oh, uh, um, I bet you're right. That's probably it. Huh. That's not the impression I got at all. I'm certain that he's just as surprised as you are. It's hard to believe that Bracer so young would be so capable. He might be scouting you out to become part of the Royal Guard. Oh, come on! Don't flatter us! We had a lot of help on this case! You needn't be so modest. You're not full-fledged Bracers yet, but I presume that you wish to become so. Well, yes, we're in training for it. We intend to travel all over the country before the Queen's birthday celebration as part of our preparations. I see. You're partaking in self-study, then. Xander. Lieutenant Swarm! Everything is ready for the CO departure! Acknowledged. <laughs> that was so robotic. <laughs> Acknowledged. I love it. I love it. <laughs> it's great. I said it robotically too, but it's just like it works. It, it, no, it's great. It's I, love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, Estelle and Joshua, and Chloe too, of course. We must be leaving soon. I hope our paths will cross again soon. Y yes, ma'am. We'll be looking forward to it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Regiment, attention! Whoa! We have trumpets. Royal Guardsmen, warship, our sail, prepare for takeoff. I mean, it, there's multiple. Okay. I've always pronounced that our sail. I've also heard people say our say. In America, we'll do our sail. That seems fair. I've always said our sail. I don't think it's ever actually pronounced. Well then. Wow, a salute and fanfare to go with it. That's a little overwhelming. Yeah, and a state-of-the-art ship to boot. I guess you'd expect as much from the defenders of Her Majesty the Queen. <laughs> True. Lieutenant Schwarz sure is cool, though. I wanted to say Suarez so much. <laughs> 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 okay, I need to get this out of my system. Whenever my <laughs> brain has like a set pronunciation, it is stuck. <laughs> Yes, I, I, I know. <laughs> like, liberal? Liberal is never going to be liberal. It will, it will always be liberal. And I can't fix it. I can't. I can't. Every time I, we see adios, I literally have to practice in my head adios, adios, oh, adios. <laughs> Nile. Nile. <laughs> it's just getting faster as I do it in my brain before I say it out loud. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, oh my god. Anyways, she kind of reminds me of that character that Chloe played, Oscar the Knight. I think so too. <laughs> what an odd coincidence. Where's our Pokemon? <laughs> Where's our Pokemon? <laughs> did, you... did that come through? It did. It did. It was I just okay. Yeah, it, it came wins. through. <laughs> I was trying to grab you and I grabbed Mira saying, where's our Pokemon instead? <laughs> <laughs> so, I was like, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I cleared it out because I was going to try to catch him. And then as I was clearing it, he did it. I was like, dang it. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, don't tell me the Royal Guardsmen showed up. It still will never beat. Yeah, it'll never, 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 we'll never, never beat that the best, one. The best soundbite. 
And the RSL was there too? She's supposed to be cutting edge. It's too bad I just worked the info desk. I'd have liked to see that. I never figured you for the military enthusiast. Still, didn't you end up speaking to Colonel Richard? Yes, he was on duty at least in HQ. I don't know how the Royal Guardsmen got there so quickly, though. I guess there's a lot more cross-communication in the military than I thought. Amazing that they managed to communicate at all, given how many agencies there are. Regular Army, Border Control, Intelligence, Royal Guard. Hey, it sounds like our military. Mm -hmm. Must be pretty complicated. Cleaning up after an incident like this will be a major undertaking. What will happen to the administration of Ruan from now on? Yeah, since the mayor's been arrested. I'd imagine they'll be sending in someone as acting mayor. And if Dalmore is found guilty, elections will have to be held. Plus, repetitions will probably be made. I want to try that line again. <laughs> Plus, reparations will probably be made toward the orphanage. There you go. <laughs> Repartations. Dude, dude it's, it's a night. None <laughs> of us can pronounce That's a difficult word. I've, That's a hard I've, one. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah, try saying mayoral with a British accent. You can't. <laughs> really? Thank goodness. All of this is thanks to Estelle and Joshua. Thank you so much, truly. You don't have to be so formal. We just did what was right. Plus, it wasn't just us. I get played a big part. Speaking of... Jing, have you received any word from him? Yes, but unfortunately... I'm afraid he wasn't able to capture the men in the black uniforms. They were not alone, apparently. Agate was ambushed. What? Is he all right? Yes, he managed to defeat them. I believe he gave chase and they're on their way to Zace. By now, he's probably well outside of Ruan. Oh, wow, talk about hardcore. Well, he's got plenty of experience after all. He'd been chasing those black characters for a while. I think they're related to a job your father asked him to do. Dad asked him? Maggot just did what he asked? <laughs> well, the one to put Agate out of the Ravens in his place was none other than Cassius himself. And whatever he might like to claim, Agate stood no chance against him. Cassius really beat some sense into him, and I get too stubborn to simply say thanks and just leave it at that. Ah, I get it. Maybe that's why he's so abrasive when it comes to us. Abrasive barely covers that guy's attitude. <laughs> Guess he's not so high and mighty where Dad's involved, huh? <laughs> oh, speaking of your father... Something wrong? Um, what about the black orb mint that lit up and saved our lives at the mayor's estate? Oh yeah, that's right! So much has been going on that I forgot all about it. Wonder what that was all about? That orb mint may have saved our skins, but it's still... it was still weird. An unusually colored orb mint? Huh? What can you tell me about it? Oh, well... Still explained it. Along with a memo, had been in a package addressed to Cassius. Oh my, that's quite a story. Hmm, from K asking about a Professor R. Could it be? You know what it means? Not specifically. I've got a hunch, but nothing to back it up. But if you want to know more about its origin, I suggest you go to Zace. Why Zace? 
as you should know, Zeiss is famous for the manufacture of ornaments. There must be someone there who might know something about your ornament. It makes sense. We may never learn more about the black ornament without consulting an expert. But we still have more training here to finish. <laughs> what about that? You may want to prepare yourselves. Received recommendation. <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> You'd have to, you had to have seen this coming. I mean, you get a recommendation from Bose after the Sky Bandit incident. Given your crucial roles in all the cases recently, I see no reason not to award it. Your assessment reward have been prepared. Petrify. Yeah. Wow! All this on top of the pay for performing in the campus festival? Thank you for everything you've done for us. Come now, you've earned it. I confess, I'd also like to see you advance as quickly as possible. I believe we'll be able to make the best use of your talents this way. <laughs> Thank you, Jean. We'll do our best to live up to your expectations. Congratulations, both of you. It'll be kind of lonely here without you, though. Chloe! You're right. It'll be tough to say goodbye. Oh, please don't mind me. I'm just being selfish. Will you please tell me when you find out what day you're leaving? I'd like to see you off at least as far as the error lesson checkpoint. Those are some words. Chapter 2! Boop, 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 boop. Stubborn bastard. Hey, hey, hey! How the heck is he keeping up with such a sword? <laughs> Ask Cloud. Oh, I can't shake him. We have no choice. Time to counterattack. I guess you're finally taking me seriously. Good. I was getting sick of playing tag with you fools. He's not going to give up until he's dead. What a stubborn idiot. Does he really think he can beat two to one odds? <laughs> I think I already have. What? Every fight takes spirit. You lose that, you lost everything. And I figured out exactly what kind of spirit you losers had when you took off with your tails between your legs. Silence, Gilder dog. I can handle you. You're in for a painful death. Ah! I can't get caught now. Okay, how about you just surrender and give me your full confessions? Starting with who you are and what you're after. You needn't concern yourself about that. What? When did you get here? Commander, you came for us. You two are pitiful. You failed to report in as appointed, and this is why... We have no excuses. We've had a lot of interference. I get it. So you are the man in charge. <laughs> Only of this particular scene. I want me to apologize on behalf of my men. Can I persuade you to overlook this incident? Oh? Uh -huh. Okay, repeat that. I said that I'd like for you to overlook this incident. Have you ever had any intention of running afoul of the Bracer Guild? Don't make me laugh. You think I'm just going to look the other way and let you get away with what you did? Ah, oh, well, I had thought it a generous offer, personally. 
certainly a fairer price than death. Both of you, stand down. Return to the rendezvous point at once. Yes, sir. Thank you, Commander. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> Son of a... <laughs> Fine. The target may have changed, but as long as I have one. And you being the leader, I assume you've got better information to offer me than your underlings anyway. Huh. You think it'll be that easy to make me talk? I sure as hell intend to find out! Hmm, not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. You have an irrepressible passion, but a great weight bears down on you. You are not quite so different from me. What did you just say? It's a pitiful thing to be powerless in a state of crisis. But you know that feeling all too well, though. You can see it in your eyes. <laughs> Fine then. I don't know who you are, but I think I like you. There is no shame in powerlessness. There is no shame in being outmatched. You and I both know that. Perhaps we could come to a mutually beneficial arrangement. Screw you! Don't act like you know anything about me. You're in for one hell of a beatdown! Uh. Yeah. <laughs> All talk, no shock. Bet the guild's gonna love interrogating you. What the? Is, is that the? The, the body split craft? I get something faint from the dark forest beyond. <laughs> nice try, but you've got a heavy heart. And a heavy heart makes for a light blade. Why don't you come out from the hiding and say that? When a warrior enters a skirmish, he must be prepared to lose everything. Otherwise, he can gain nothing. In order to live as a man, you must forgo all anger and grief. With that, I bid you farewell. The presence in the trees seem to have vanished. Or go? How the hell am I supposed to do that? Like at the first I, second, I and then it was just gone. Like, you like peaked yourself, and so your mic just went nope. <laughs> it went ah. ah. <laughs> it's it's nice. Nice. Guess she's not here yet. Did we get here that early? Could be. Want to kill some time at the tavern? Nah, it's nice out, so I think I'd rather just wait here. I doubt I could ever get tired of the view of the river. Yeah, no kidding. I even get the feeling that Ruan's finally back to normal. Pretty amazing considering the uproar after Mayor Dalmore's arrest. Well, a seated mayor has never been arrested before. Try to imagine if Mayor Klaus was arrested in Roland. <sighs> yeah, that would be a real shock. But when I think of it that way, the people of Ruan almost seem cold. I mean, they were clearly surprised by what happened. But not a single person was truly shocked, as far as I can tell. That is politics. <laughs> well, you have to remember, Ryan, Mayor of Ruan has always been selected by Bloodline alone. He wasn't elected to his position by the Ruanians. 
And that probably makes all the difference in the world. Yeah, that's true. The people of Roland appointed Klaus mayor because they liked him and trusted him. Dalmor's getting what he deserves, but I still feel kind of bad for him. Hey, look who's here. Huh? Pokemon? <laughs> oh, Sieg! Yes! There we go. I didn't interrupt this. Got it. <laughs> Estelle, Joshua. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm late. No problem. We just got here ourselves. Don't tell us you ran all the way here. You really didn't need to rush. I couldn't let you two go without seeing you off. Thank you very much for contact. Chloe, I keep telling you, you don't have to thank us. You too, Zeke. Thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> well then, shall we be off? Okay. We need to use the south exit to reach Zace, right? Yes, there's a checkpoint on the southern road there called Air Letton. You can see a famous waterfall from that point, too. Hey, that might be fun. Let's go check it out. Alright, I'm going to run to the bathroom. You know if, what? As, yeah, let's just if, take a bio break. Because okay. I need to also I like the stream. I, I, <laughs> yes, I was same. streaming and then jumped right into this after having yeah. a heart attack. So. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Alright, BRBs. Me, let me go to the <laughs>
Ah, there we go. I forgot where the out is in this place. Ah. Flippity boop. Gotta go to Zeiss. Yeah. Zeiss. 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 That is. Eins fein dry. That is another one that is Zeiss. pronounced later on. That's the only reason I know it's pronounced Zeiss. Because it shares the name of a factory called Zeiss. Mm hmm. Because that's where the factory is. It's as if this is where we saw that cutscene. It looks all so familiar. Yeah. Oh, I saw the flowers and thought it was a chest. Ah. Just flowers. Not a chest. Man-made waterfall, basically. Wait, why? Why did you wait? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. What did I just see there? They so they altered the waterfall for power. Oh, hydroelectric. Efficient. Power. Yeah. I thought I thought that they literally took. They just put pretty bricks underneath the waterfall and scooted it out a little bit more. I'm like, so you made a waterfall into a waterfall. A bigger <laughs> waterfall. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway. No, I think, I think if I remember right, it's done because that's a way of... It's either for power or irrigation is the reason why they have that structure. No, it's smart. I can't remember which. Okay. Wow, this is a nice little spot. The view here is breathtaking. Certainly doesn't feel like a checkpoint, that's for sure. Actually, I hear that a lot of visitors come here to see the waterfall. Really? Ruan sure has a lot of nice places, huh? I can understand why the Duke would want to live here. Agreed. But I think Roland is also a nice relaxing place to live. Oh, you've been to Roland? Yes, I've been to all five of the great cities. Oh, that's right. Zeiss is up ahead. You'll be surprised how charming it is. Hmm, really? Sounds like we're in for some fun. All right, why don't we get the paperwork started then? So let's see. Roland, Bose, Grancel, Ruan, and Zeiss are your five main cities. Hey, welcome to the Airlight and Checkpoint. Do you want to get set up to go through? Head to the camera inside. I don't know where that voice came from. Same. Almost sound like the Muppet Chef. Yeah. Is Xander back? I don't no, think I he never ever. left. I was gonna say, oh, I don't okay. think he ever left. Oh, he's been whole time. <laughs> Good afternoon. How may I be of assistance? We were wondering what had to be done to obtain permission to enter Zeiss. Ah, okay then. Step right up. I'll take care of you. Be aware, though, that once these procedures have begun, you will not be allowed to leave the checkpoint. Are you okay with that? Yeah, go ahead, please. Please start by signing these documents. I read that as singing, and I was like, what? <laughs> we uh. sing while we write on our documents. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, everything looks to be in order. Is the young lady there not joining you? Oh, I only came to see them off. Ah, very well then. You'll be able to go through the Caldea Tunnel. Thank you very much. What's the Caldea Tunnel? It is the main road that joins this checkpoint to Zeiss. The path is a long tunnel that passes directly through Caldea Hill. Wow, an underground road. That'll definitely be a first for me too. Okay, 
Need to buy shop. Nope. Never mind, I don't need to buy. Wait, can I convert blank here? Uh, I don't have something. I don't have what I want. I think it's called the Lost Waterway. It was made a very long time ago. Yes, and it's linked directly to the Valeria Lakeshore. Pretty impressive, given that they did it without any ornaments to help. So what's that over there? That's the entrance to the tunnel, I think. Yeah. So, I guess this is goodbye. Yes. So, you're going to be traveling around the kingdom, right? We might be able to meet again in Gransel. Really? I'll be going back there when the Queen's birthday celebration starts. Some of my relatives will be there, so I have to join them. Well, that's just a month away, isn't it? I think we may actually be in Grand Cell around that time. So then, once you're done with your family stuff, contact the Grand Cell Guild branch. If you do, we can try to meet up. I certainly will. Estelle and Joshua, I can't thank you enough. I won't ever forget everything that you've done for me. Come on, don't be so formal. We're in your debt as well, for many reasons. I'd say we're pretty even. What a thing to say. When... When we confronted the mayor... I said some terrible things. You care for no one but yourself. But I was no different. Huh? I've been running away from the reality of my own situation for a while now to the orphanage, and to the academy. But the two of you taught me something. You helped me find the courage to hold my head high, and find the strength to protect what matters. Because of you, I know how to be brave. I... I don't really get it. <laughs> but if we were able to help you, I'm happy. Aww. 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 <laughs> Cheer up, okay? We'll see each other again in Gransel. Yes, absolutely. I was gonna say, I was just getting ready to push the button if he didn't do it. <laughs> and maybe we'll be able to see Zeke there too, right? just any bird you know. I think he'll be there. I'm sure. <laughs> Teague's just full of surprises, isn't he? Well then, shall we be off? Yeah. Hey. Good luck to both of you on your journey. And I'll be praying for you to find your father. You two take care. Yes, I think so too. We'll see them again. I believe this is Julia. Hold. Julia is. Julia okay. is you. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was making sure that I... Oh, yes. I believe this is Julia. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting, Chloe. Yep. Miss Julia. You're done with your duties at the Lason Fortress? Yes. It took longer than I had anticipated. Pardon my rudeness, but I've come to get your report on the incident. Thank you for your service. <laughs> hey now, settle down, Sieg. Have you been fulfilling your duty as escort? <laughs> He's always been very helpful. Isn't that right, Sig? <laughs> He's certainly chipper. The R sale is stopped at the end of the highway. You're to report in there. Understood. I'll be leaving school for a while. I need to say goodbye to my teachers before returning to Gransel. Still, Joshua, I'll take what you taught me and show you that I can be strong. Stronger than even you two. I'll do everything in my power to see to that. Okay, who is Chloe? <laughs> I'm a badass. Uh, I don't know. Interesting. Secret agent Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> Secret agent. <laughs> Super spy! <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. Just got the feeling that someone was coming. Huh? There's someone in here other than us? Hmm. Guess not! Yeah. Sorry, must have imagined it. Oh, I get it. <laughs> I think you've still got a little crush on Chloe. Huh? What makes you say that? Oh, don't be shy. You know I can read you like a book. It's not unreasonable after all. You did, um, kiss her during the play. What if she asked you to come back? You'd say yes, right? I guess she didn't notice then. Huh? Notice what? The last scene. It was just for show, you know. It was staged. This would look like a real kiss for the audience. You really can't be completely clueless sometimes. It was written right there in the script notes. Oh! oh. <laughs> I see. Note to self, do not insert foot into mouth. Oh, why do I feel so relieved? Um, Estelle? You okay? Open mouth, oh insert my. foot. <laughs> <laughs> I love those lines right there. That was and, you so know, it's good. the stage <laughs> kiss. You put your hand, you put your thumb over their mouth, and it's stage kiss. Is that how that works? I've never yeah, actually, that, well, that is a stage way of facts. doing it. Is where basically, like, if, like if you have, like, you know, you have like Depends the big dramatic, on like the perspective. It does. Uh, it really does. But like, you know how like sometimes they'll have the big dramatic where like they grab both sides of their face and pull them in. Yeah. Typically, when you do that right before you kiss, you move your lip, your thumb right in front of, between your lips, and you kiss your thumbs. But because your hands are on their face, it disguises the fact that your thumb is blocked. Oh. Um, and the you case can also of the play though, it looked more like because um, the back of the head was to the audience. All you really had to do was like hover there for a moment. 
I mean, it can also be like where you kiss just to the side, like just to the side of the mouth too. Almost like a, almost like you kiss their cheek, but like just to the side to give the illusion that you're on top of their lips when in reality, you're just off to the side. It's the same thing with like a sword stab where you go just to the side of them. Yeah. But from the mm -hmm. play's perspective, when they're seeing you dead on, they assume that you're on top of their their lips. When in reality, you're 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 kind of just to the side enough that you're not actually fully kissing them. Now, TV shows and things actually will do kissing, and a lot of plays will do kissing too. It's not uncommon for actors to kiss each other, but a lot of like high school plays and things will do like stage kisses, mm. um, unless the male lead and female lead happen to be boyfriend and girlfriend then typically they don't care obviously yeah but uh, generally when it comes to like an actual kiss on stage it's an agreement between both actors and there's like intimacy the consultants kids, and things like that right. if they're kids there's you know there has to be like a science like understanding oh, I bet. And, yeah. like all that stuff but once empty. you go to college, no one cares. <laughs> because you're the conscience, you looter. Yeah, the more you know. Hey, they called us looters. Wow, rude. Right? I'm not a looter. You're a looter. No, my play experience is musical being in a pit, and that's all I got. So, like, one time. Yeah, I wanted... Being in pit was awesome. <laughs> I wanted to be in musical theater, and so did my drama or teacher. He wanted me to be in the musical. We did Little Shop of Horrors. Uh, and I wanted to be in it. But my mom was like, no, you're not going to be in that show. I don't like that. And I was like, but it's a good show. Just didn't like it for whatever reason. Uh, but uh, so she don't let me be in it. But like, I could have been cast as like a, not the main, obviously, because the person who played the main, the main uh, character Seymour was phenomenal and a great friend of mine. There's no way I would have beat him out for an audition. Um, oh, yeah. My sister, she auditioned for the, well, the school musical this year, which is the Adams Family, and she got Morticia. Mm. And I'm just like, you got Morticia. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, should have got Wednesday. Then she can do the Wednesday dance. <laughs> I, was, I told her she should have gone for Wednesday, and she said, "Nah, I want to be Morticia. I want to be a badass." I mean, Morticia <laughs> is. I mean, realistically, all the Adams Family characters are phenomenal characters. Oh, Morticia yeah, but... really is a fantastic character. Oh, yeah. I mean, like... she's a milf. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have a comeback for that one. Like, it's just... It's true. So there really is no comeback. It's just, it's, it's just true. <laughs> she's a great character. Mm -hmm. um, our, our chest is now telling us we're sad. Because we're searching chests. So first you're looters, reduced, and now we're sad. Yeah, reduce to searching empty chests. That's really sad. No, it's not. I expected you to have more chest. Although it did give me death blow, which is also a really fun uh, orphan. But I don't think. Uh, I see. I don't think that Joshua can. <gasps> Joshua can. Yeah, 100% kills enemy, but quartz breaks. It's not really worth using. Um, I might actually put cast on him because he has some pretty nice uh, arts. Uh, it's only cast one, unfortunately, which does suck. Um, but... It is what it is. Well, I mean, you're we are only getting to chapter three. I know. They um, can't give you all the good stuff yet. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could if I really want to walk around without any ramifications, I can do haze. Enemies become unaware of presence. Mm. Uh, I can see enemies from a distance. That was also nice. Um, but I think I'm actually going to give him attack three. Um, so Estelle has attack three. I have a higher move. Um, I do not. I just have move one and two. Higher action, no, just one and two. Okay. 
want to see how well this works with him. Okay. That's, that's move out. It works. Aww. That's not a surprise attack because I go first. <laughs> They're like Ayaki. They can't be surprised. You almost gave me a free alert, and I'm so, like... <sighs> I, did I did almost the right thing. You. Yes, you I did. did the right thing. You I know did. I did the you right did. thing, but I so desperately wanted to keep it. <laughs> I know you did. Right. I mean, you got to give a free inspiration to a person. Yeah, I did. Beware of monster. Let's go! Monster. Ooh. There it is. Yep. Smack, smack. Hey! It had multi attack. That's unfair. I think 59 might be the highest level this game has. Because 1 and 2, the, the whatever level I am in 1, will carry over into 2. Um. Oh, nope. Ooh. I know this area. The chest is empty because you've already been here. Thank you, Captain of the Obvious. What? Or maybe it's Chest of the Obvious. Captain Obvious, it's chest obvious. That sounds weird. It didn't work as it, didn't, it sounded better in my head. You ever get that where you're like, hmm, that sounded better in my head. And yeah. then I said it out loud and I'm like, hmm, no. Yeah. Just doesn't work. I actually used this place to grind a ton in my first playthrough. Because I would do that where I'd pop into the other area and pop back out, the things would respawn. So I could just keep grinding. Uh, so I use this area to grind up a lot of levels. Fair enough. Uh. Who's that voice? Um. I don't know. I've got to hurry. I'm just gonna. I just read it because I don't know who it is. Someone's going this way. Oh, this is Tita. Ah, do it's you? Tita. Who? She's. She is a 12-year-old girl. Do you want to be a little kid girl. for the rest of the time? <laughs> uh, who? Let me tell you, she's a great kid to play, though. Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, let me see. Let me grab a snippet of her voice for you. I will try my darndest. Uh, because she has. At least a... I don't have to talk like this. She does not talk like <laughs> no. that. Let no, me tell you. She's ya. twelve years old. She's twelve years old. <laughs> she's a preteen. <laughs> okay, I can do a preteen kind of. Um, let me see. I've got to...
the back end of my formatting. There we go. Oh. Good afternoon. Where's the fire? Good, good afternoon. Um, are you taking this road too? Well, yeah. Have you seen any, any lights that weren't working? The lights along the tunnel wall, I mean. Hmm, sorry. If there are, I haven't noticed any. All of the lights we passed were still on, but we did pass one that was flickering. There's two rivers between it and there. That's it. It's just like I thought. Sorry, I have to hurry. I wonder if she's from Zeiss. Strange little kid. She seemed awfully flustered. Huh. Now I'm kind of worried. Hey, you want to try following her? You read my mind. I don't like the idea of a little girl wandering around here by herself. We should catch up to her and stick close. Okay, come on, let's hurry! And now we backpedal all the way back. That voice requires some energy. Oof, okay. By the way, word has it that next week Phasmo's updating. Oh, oh. god, I have to do lots of grinding then <laughs> tomorrow. Great. <laughs> That's what I said. <sighs> Speaking of tomorrow, are we all free again tomorrow night? Yeah, yes. Maybe. Question mark? I am probably not. Okay. Fair enough. Question mark? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I got a message last week from a friend. Apparently, Sons of the Forest comes out tomorrow, and he really wants me to play with the I group of people. I don't think it unlocks till like eleven or midnight central. Really? Uh, let me double check. Yeah, I know it comes out tomorrow, but let me double check. I could very well be wrong. I feel like it wouldn't come over here. Come out that late. I am completely wrong. It unlocks it. Yeah, in 11 like, hours. <laughs> yeah, it literally unlocks it like so 11 o'clock in the morning. That's noon. Well, wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's like noon. Yeah, noon tomorrow. I don't know what it is, but it sounds like fun for you. Sons of the Forest, it's the second of the... It's, it's the like continuation a of The Forest. Survival game. Yeah, yeah, it's The it's, Forest, but it's the second game. Uh, I'd never played the first one. The first one is... It was so buggy, but that was part of its charm. <laughs> I can't believe there are so many of them. It's going to break at this rate. Maybe this. Bearing set. Angle of elevation, 20 degrees. Powerful compression at 30%. Go! If, if you come any closer, then I won't miss next time. I, I mean it. <laughs> Oops. I think that might have made them angrier. Ah! Yeah! Huh? Hey, I remember you. We can talk later. Get back. We've got to get rid of these things first. So she wields an Orble Cannon, or Grenade Launcher. What? Also a badass. <laughs> I like her. Yeah. Just... <laughs> mm-hmm. We did it! Mm-hmm. Yep, you guys did it. I love Tita. I love Tita so much. <laughs> that was 
scary. Um, thank you very much. I thought it was a goner for sure. <laughs> well, the important thing is you're safe. But you really should be more careful. Stirring up monsters is a surefire way to get yourself eaten. But... If I left them alone, they probably would have broken that light. Speaking of which, why would those things go after the lights anyway? Don't they do the same thing when the highway lights are switched out? The septum in those circuits is the monster's favorite food. The highway lights work to keep monsters away. When they stop working, they have the exact opposite effect. Ah, I get it. Still, you shouldn't mess with stuff like that. Septium might be their favorite food, but little girls probably rank a close second. Oh, s sorry. Go easy there. Having your nightmares and saying don't do that isn't exactly going to score you any points. Now don't be such a wet blanket. Anyway, my name's Estelle. And I'm Joshua. We're Bracers, affiliated with the guild. Oh, so that's why you're so tough. I'm Tita. I work as an apprentice at the Central Factory. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Well then, Tita. We're heading to Zeiss, so do you want to join us the rest of the way? That's right. You don't want to be around here if the monsters show up again. R really? Thank you! Would you mind waiting for a little bit? I've got to get that light fixed. Yeah, it's probably risky to leave it like that. How in the world did you know it had burned out, though? Well, I was lucky enough to notice the problem when I was looking in the computer database. It seems like a defective unit was installed here by mistake. Ah, alright. It's a good thing you caught it when you did. Computer? Database? Me brainy, no worky. <laughs> she's a She's just a small town girl. Okay, that should do it. Sorry it took so long. Wow, color me impressed. Well, if she's an apprentice at the certain little factory, she has to be good. <laughs> well, I didn't do anything special. I just fixed the cord connection and adjusted the oval pressure. What? Well, it sure sounds special. It's not that big a deal. Um, okay, how to explain this? Each orbit has a clock circuit stop. inside, and that isn't properly connected stop. to the orbital energy inside of the unit. Well, never to go. As a result, the orbit won't be able to function properly. This happens sometimes with the highway lights, which means their ability to give out light and ward off monsters and compromise. So, <laughs> that's exactly how I imagined her saying it too. Just, <laughs> just going as fast as she possibly can. Maybe you should save the explanation for after we get on the road. I mean, if we stand around too long, the monsters, you know. Yeah, I guess so. I was just warming up, too. <sighs> <laughs> well, why don't we set off for Zeiss, then? Okay! Yes, sir! Alright. Let's go ahead and save and end. <laughs> I like this little girl. <laughs> <laughs> I love Estelle's like lack of technological comprehension. It makes me I love it. It's so fun. <laughs> She's just Alright. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm going to end the stream here. I appreciate y'all being here. Uh, let me go right out to Micah. Y'all, he's playing some hot No, it's about time a card. And go right out to him and say hello. And in for today, we will be back tomorrow with something. But anyway, I will see y'all next time. <laughs>